What is up, peeps? This is for the Win TCG, and let's welcome you back to another YouTube video. And uh, today we're going to be looking at a list that I've created. Um, it is Lycanroc GX. Lycanroc is just a Lycanroc deck. There's been so many Lycanroc cards, I thought it'd be fun to just mess around a bit and see if we can make a playable deck with Lycanroc GX. We have the Bloodthirsty Eyes Lycanroc, we have the brand new Dawn Form Lycanroc. I don't know. Don't quote me. Just don't quote me. And we have this little bad boy. This one's been out for a while. And, uh, oh, Mike went there. So it's, this one's been out for a while. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna stay there? Yeah. Okay, so this one's been out for a while. Um, but I think it can work pretty well against Picarom because it hits basic work on 60 damage. You can add choice band, Diancy, yada, yada, you hit for weakness. Yada, 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 add them all up. You don't get a one hit knockout. <laughs> My microphone, stop falling. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's not getting a one-hit knockout against Picarom if I'm calculating it correctly in my head. Yes, no. But, it is a single energy attacker that can hit a big number against Zorak, Lycanroc, yada yada. Not Lycanroc, sorry, Zorak and Picarom. So I thought it'd be fun to throw it in there, just to kind of mix and match a little bit. If I move it this way, will it stay? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I think that's going to work. Okay, let's get into the video. Professionalism, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, this deck is kind of fun. It kind of messes around with the, the concept of the... Um, the... Dawn form Lycanroc ability. Where if you evolve it, it discards an energy off your opponent's active Pokemon. So we play things like uh, Crushing Hammer and Enhance Hammer in this deck as well. To really slow our opponent down. Um, as we get our energy charged up and in play, because to do our main attacks on the both like both of the Lycanroc GXs, we need to attach a single energy plus a double colorless energy, which is very slow in the current format. So, if you can't speed up, what do you do? You slow them down. That's the kind of goal that we have um, in this particular matchup. Oh, we're playing Lycanroc. Maybe it's Zorak Lycanroc. That would be interesting. Hopefully it is, because I'd love to play Zorak Lycanroc right now. It'd be a really good test of the deck. Um, but yeah, um, I think this is going to be quite an interesting deck. To oh, it's Persimian. I ain't seen this card in ages. This one's rotating out, right? Yeah, that's not the main base set. I think this Persimian is going to go. Mm. That's another one gone. There's so much stuff going. I didn't even realize in yesterday's video, the majority of cards I was using also went in rotation as well. There's so many cards leaving. Oh. It's really hard to keep track of, I'm going to be honest. Uh, thank you, <laughs> Lele, for saving my butt there. Um, I think we're going to pull probably... I really want this to hold this Enhanced Hammer, so I'm going to get a Lily for, for four. Kind of subpar when it comes to a Lily play, but I really want to hold that Enhanced Hammer considering we're up against the Pacific deck. Um, okay, I like that hand. I think that's a pretty cool hand. So we want to go for Enhanced Hammer... Yeah, if they, if they do place this down. I place the energy on the bench for Rockruff. Um, that's kind of a standard thing to do. Um, because if you if your active gets KO'd, you've lost the energy attachment. And that's quite a big deal. So um, that's why I've attached it there. But uh, hopefully they throw a DCE down. So that gives us a juicy enhanced hammer. Um, but we might actually be able to... Well, really cause them to struggle when it comes to their energy. Um, with it... Being that this deck plays, I'm assuming this guy is going to be, or this girl, no, it's a guy, um, is going to be playing uh, DCE and um, counter energy, which I think is also rotating. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know. Um, but with that said, I think we can actually go in for a nice cheeky KO here on whatever we want. Now, Brooklyn Hill's weak. <laughs> That's doing us a favor. That's doing us a big favor. We don't really have, we didn't really have space for Brooklyn Hill in our deck, so that's helping us out. Okay, um, let's ultra ball the choice ban and the energy. I should no, I should have done the multi switch there, but that's fine. Let's get bloodthirsty eyes out, I think. And I think we're gonna just we're just gonna promote. Hmm. Yeah, I want to get this Persimian because that's gonna really add up the damage when it comes to. The damage they're doing to us. Um, so let's let's do that. Let's take out the evolution for Simeon for the time being because they're really gonna, yeah, they're gonna destroy us um, in long Power in the off. long run. Power. Oh, all right, multi switch. 
I think multi-switch works really well in this deck um, because it really helps bring DCEs and move them around. So effectively, you're treating your deck to have, well, we play two multi-switch, so six DCE effectively, right? Because if you have a DCE on one Lycoroc like and you've got a brand new one out, you can multi-switch and have that fully charged up, ready to go in one turn with one energy, energy attachment. So not only are we slowing them down, we're just giving our, our deck a bit of utility. And that's kind of inspired by Picaron, um, particularly Andrew Mahone's one. Hey! Don't you do it. That's my job. That's not yours. Oh my God. Did they just do that? Wow. Okay. Fair play. That was that was kind of a boss move there. I'm not going to lie. Um, hats off to them. What can I say? Uh, we still have the um, Lycan Rock that they are using. The Dawn form? I don't know. Um, we still have that one around. So we can just single energy GX attack if we really want to. They're going to fling. Wow. Okay, fair play to you, man. That's... I can't complain. I genuinely can't complain. All right, let's do that. Let's go for a Cynthia. Hopefully, we get the um, one we want. The like and rock that we want. We don't. But just in case things go south, we'll bench this Boswell. You have no energy in the discard pile anyway. So, I know I could Ultra Ball for the like and rock now. But... I kind of want to hold everything in my hand. We could get rid of the energy choice ban, effectively, and get the other one out, and at least throw that energy in the discard pile. Uh, I think we just pass. Am I right? I don't know. I'm not sure. By the way, let me know your thoughts. Uh, do you like the dark backgrounds? I think it you can see me better. Um, or do you prefer the light background? I'd love to know in the comments actually um, below because I've been using the light background recently and I used to go for the darker background. Basically, all I do is just turn my light off um, and use the lighting on my phone whilst recording to um, kind of emphasize me. Um, so you can see me better. Yeah. So I want to know actually your thoughts on that. What would you prefer? Okay, so we've got that. We can just blood first the eyes though if we get lucky and pull ourselves another multi-switch. Blood first the eyes. Sorry, we can claw slap. What am I talking about? Um... It's risky plays here, though. It's hella risky plays. Could have a switch play. There's loads of things we can do. Okay, obviously we're going to evolve this. So I guess... Let's do that now while we're here. Let's just get rid of that energy. Um, uh, I don't want to ultra pull away DCE after losing one already, though. Hmm. We played two Oranguru, but I don't know if we've got the other one in deck. This is so risky. Do not try this at home. <laughs> Let's get the other Oranguru. We don't, but we have Marshadow. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay, we need a multi-switch. So, I'm going to attach here. We're going to go for the multi-switch. That's our, that's our dream. Come on. Hit me with that rhythm stick. Oh, no. Yikes. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> um, oh, that's so bad. Getting two nest balls as well. Though you can, we can't thin them right now because our bench is full, so we can't even thin that down. Yikes. Okay. With such so many draw outlets in this deck, we have the Lele, the Marshadow, the Oranguru. We have um, eight draw supporters. It's, oh my god, the Enhanced Hammers. Stop it! Just get out of it. Get out of it. What is this? What is this? We could technically Dangerous Rogue. Um, GX. If we get a multi-switch here. But yikes, man. This is such a crazy matchup. I do like this inclusion, though. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to attach to the active. And uh, pass. Gameplay. <laughs> this is the best gameplay I've seen all year. <laughs> no. Um, we just want to pass. Take it slow. We are quite a slow deck. They're really struggling to pull the cards they need. Oh, God, please. How much damage are they hitting right now? If they get a DCE, they're going to get another Pacivian out. So they're going to be hitting 3, 6, 9, 12, 130, right? They're going to fling. Oh, my God, they're going to do another fling. I mean, we can take it out next turn, which is great. If they go for the fling attack, so that's fine by me. And if they take one of these Lycan Rocks down, we have Buzzword just to immediately respond. So that's good news. Um, 
bad news, I think this Lycanroc is going um, in the rotation as well. But the rotation is in, in August, so I don't think I'll be make, focusing on making decks that are about the rotation just yet. I think we've got to give it a bit more time trying these other, uh, other cards out, messing around with them before they do go. Um, but I am just bearing in mind um, focusing or well, uh, slowly dividing my attention to other cards that are going to be around after the rotation. But that's not just now. For now, I'm just going to be looking at these cards as we go. Um, let's let's just get the KO. This this hand is abysmal, but let's just get this KO. Let's get it out of it. Get it out. Um, but yeah, also, I've got another really interesting deck coming out tomorrow. It is by... I don't know if she created it, but I saw her play it. And um, I've asked her if it's okay for me to upload, and she said it's fine. Um, it's Sombra, or Sombra Curse, if you don't know. She's a fantastic streamer, a wonderful person. Um, and she... Yeah, she streams on Twitch, so I watch her streams and stuff. And uh, she was playing this really interesting deck. And I was like, hey, that's kind of neat. So I asked her if I could make the deck and um, get it uploaded on the channel. She said it's fine. So I'm going to be trying to get the list, list of her soon and uploading it to the channel. Um, I think it's a really cool list and I think you guys are really going to like it. So um, fingers crossed it works out well. And we get that list done. So I'm quite excited for that one tomorrow. And of course, pack a match will be on Friday for those who are looking forward to that. Uh, with that said, I am slightly thinking about switching the schedule up a bit. I'm thinking about bringing pack a match to Wednesday. And the reason behind that is to kind of break up and, you know, pr pr give a little break, break up and give a break. Makes sense, Sean. Speak. <laughs> okay. To provide a break in between these deck lists that I upload in the week. So you'd have two days, Monday, Tuesday with unique deck lists. And then the Wednesday will be pack a match, just a nice breather. And then Thursday, Friday or Thursday, Saturday, depending on how it goes with uh, my Fridays, because it's all over the place. Um, with, um, yeah with uh, deck, deck list videos and then two days of, of obviously me up not uploading and potentially streaming, depends how that goes. Uh, but yeah, I think it just provides a bit more evenness when it comes to the upload schedule and a bit more of a break for those uh, who watch, well, watch my decks because um, if you watch it constantly every single day, I'm sure at some point, some point it'll get a bit boring. So a nice little break. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's the idea I have. We still haven't used our GX attack and this deck is really good at, well, it's GX attack <laughs> considering it discards energy. So... This GX attack is pretty good. Um, obviously, Dangerous Road is, is one of the best GX attacks out there. It's so easy to achieve um, and so limiting on your opponent if they are, are aware of it. So I think it's one of the best GX attacks there are on uh, standard GX Pokemon. So we still haven't used it yet. And uh, we still haven't gone down a prize yet either. Um, and I'm pretty happy to be playing Persimian because it is a meta deck. Uh, it has, you know, been in tournaments, top 32, top 16s. I've seen it in, I think top 16, I could be wrong. But I've seen it in tournaments. I uh, go on the Limitless TCG site and I keep up with stuff and I've seen Persimian about. It has definitely taken a dive um, with the uh, rotation of Special Charge at the time because you couldn't really fully utilize your DCE as well as you would. Um effectively because well we have stuff like this going around <laughs> and uh, they're gonna struggle so uh yeah all right uh choice ban is actually quite relevant here so i think what i'm gonna do is erica because we want to draw a ton of cards here and if we pull a guzman we get game next term so long as wait let me just check what energy they got so it's three six nine so it's actually 120 with the gx stack so that's not game but 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 and it's a big but um, I think we can just go for a Guzma Retreat Dangerous Rogue GX for game next turn on one of these GXs here. So I think we have game pretty much in the bag, which is kind of dope. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. And then we'll probably get into another game as well and see how that goes. So, and Acerola, you're probably wondering why Acerola is in this deck. It's to reuse Bloodthirsty Eyes if we really, really need it in that time. Let's say it's it's a very niche scenario card. I'm contemplating dropping it and maybe just throwing in a Brooklyn Hill or something. I think that's more useful, but I've thrown it in there just to see how it works. But it's just to reuse the Bloodthirsty Eyes ability or be able to reuse the Twilight Eyes. So that's why Ace is in there, just in case you're wondering. Um, all right, they're going to go for a little cheeky Guzma. All right. Uh, that is game. That is indeed game. They managed to take a prize. Fair play to you, buddy. Fair play to you, man. But uh, we're going to go for a, a GG. Well played. And uh, you do have a good deck indeed. But unfortunately, it's just a bit outdated. All right. Let's go for the Dangerous Rogue and get the KO for game. So uh, let's go for another game. And um, hopefully we come up against another good deck. I think it's a lot more fun playing against the decks. You just have to think more. Um, that's what I say. 
Whoa! My microphone went down again. Jeez, I need to sort that out. Um, I don't know. Just pick one of them. Um, uh, and if uh, any of you are aware or are not aware, I think the latter, um, I made a post on my, well, on the YouTube, it was on my community tab, uh, basically bringing up some comments um, that have been addressing the ELO issue that I've had. I've been very aware of it, obviously, I've been mentioning it in the past few videos, um, in that I'm coming up against decks that aren't particularly meta um, or aren't considered, well, good decks or, well, good players because of my ELO. Um, so if you're not 100% sure what I mean by that, basically, um, I'm pretty much coming up against weaker decks at this point, considering that when I test a lot during the day, um, and when I play generally, my ELO goes down because, let's say, if I'm quitting games from testing, or if I'm uh, losing games through testing uh, and coming up against meta decks. So let's say, for example, I'm testing out a deck and I come up against a Picarom. Odds are the Picarom will beat me if the deck isn't as defined as it should be, uh, if it's in the early stages and just in its idea, which is usually what I do most of the time during the day anyway when I'm playing uh, Pokemon, well, PTCGO. Most of the time it's, all right, let's think of a deck. Let's get something going and um, get that going. That's, that's the only way I'll be able to get a new deck out almost every day. So... That is the downside of it. So I'm thinking of ways of countering that where you guys can see these unique decks because there is the benefit of a low elo, which is you can see more unique decks um, and less of the same top four, top five decks all the time. Um, but also finding ways to incorporate meta decks. So I'm coming up with an idea. I haven't got it really figured out just yet. So I'm just fine tuning the idea myself. Um, but I'm pretty interested in seeing how, how it unfolds. And I'm definitely aware and trying to tackle that issue um, so we can have some entertaining games as well as coming up against unique decks. Right. We can Lily here for what? One, two, three, four. Lily for three? That's really bad. Uh, Cynthia? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Like, Erica would be sick here if we just had one more card to play down, but we don't. So I think we're just going to Cynthia, which is like the best of the worst in that case. I don't mind dropping you down and just leaving you there. Starting the Marshadow is a yikes, man. That is bad. That is a bad starting card. But um, we're up against Empoleon. Wow. We're coming up against some uh, old old school decks. Some old school decks. I'm assuming they're playing the Alola Ninetales GX. I kind of like Empoleon. I think it's very achievable now with Jirachi and Ninetales. And on top of that... We have Aqua Patch, so total, total Command is not a hard attack to achieve. I think, I think Napoleon's good, but it's only as good as your opponent's bench. <laughs> That's what people say, right? Um, but uh, I don't know. I've no, I, I, I'll be completely honest. I forgot about Napoleon, and it seems to be a decent card. Um, well, what was holding it back at its time was its issue with my microphone falling. I've got it back. Okay. Was its issue with um be it being a stage two but that's not really an issue nowadays as much as it was uh anyway less rounding more playing i think i'm just gonna take it slow play a lily here for three which is quite bad but oh go on give it to me go on eh, one more time come on two times the chop oh yeah there we go so that's one engine in the discard pile and i think we okay what damage are hitting two four six eight ten twelve fourteen so we can throw one more down Bit risky. They have the Kukui Choice Band to get one hit KO on one of these things. So, I'm kind of just going to hold it there for the time being. So, we can go for a bit of a cheeky play. If we pull a DCE, that would be dope. We can get some quick KOs here. Um, now that I think about it, maybe I should have thrown Diancy instead of another Rockruff. Because it could be cheeky with the Buzzwell and start poking some um, some stuff. I mean, we can. I guess we can we can goose them up this this Vulpix. But they're just gonna go for a. Um... Oh wow, that that fair play to you, buddy. Fair play to you. But um, we are gonna be causing you some trouble here. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest. We're gonna first off, we're gonna promote you up. And um... see, I'm just thinking to myself, this could be an issue where they kind of mm. yeah i don't want to do my gx attack <laughs> that's the thing we need that multi-switch man we need that multi-switch it's not happening okay there isn't an extra diancy okay that's understandable then um 
We don't actually have the Dancy in the deck, so I think what I'm going to do here is promote the Vulpix. Because that's the only thing we can two-shot with the Buzzwall. And just attach energy to this Lycanroc here. We could attach to, the, to another one. But right now we're really dead drawing, so I think we just do that. And threaten that Vulpix currently. So we have a force them to retreat. Uh, which they probably can do. If they're playing Jirachi, they're probably playing switches and escape boats. Escape boats. Escape boats? What world am I in? <laughs> escape boards. Oh my god. Um, well, are they going to get a beacon? I'm pretty sure they were going to do that. We are giving them the opportunity to, but we did get the prize, and that does give us an, an out. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Erica, come in there, buddy. There we go. Oh, there you are. All right, so we could actually get a decent attack off here. I mean, we're not KOing the Empoleon. That's an issue. That's definitely an issue. It's, it's quite obvious that um, the best attack that we could use in this matchup is Dangerous Rogue GX. Because um, that just gets a nice one shot. And they're going to be aquapatching their energy back. So, maybe we could Bloodthirsty Eyes next turn. So maybe we start prepping that up um, whilst we have this turn here to attack and take the prize. Um, right. I think we just attack. I'm just thinking, do we need to... We don't need to bench anything. Do we Do we want to get another... No, we don't want to get another Lycanroc out right now. I'm just worried about them Guzmaring this thing up. Well, actually, no. That shouldn't be a worry because if they go for the Guzma and take out the Rockcroft, then they've activated Sledgehammer. So, it's fine. It's nothing to actually worry about. DCE is a good pull there. I'm happy with that. But... I'm hoping we pull some crushing hammers here to just slow them down a little bit, force them to use their aqua patches so they don't have to be so quick <laughs> because this is a quick deck. Um, hopefully we can slow them down. That's the goal, right? Slow them down. We kind of keep at our pace and maybe speed up with a multi switch here and there, but this is a tough matchup. I'm not going to lie. We can't hit the big one shots. Well, this deck's not going to be one shotting a lot of things, but. Mm, it's a struggle as it is. That's that's what I'm saying. It's a struggle as it is. Right. Aqua patch. Okay, so they are going to prep the other one. And I'm assuming they've got the retreat. Right? Have you got the retreat? If they don't, then that's a real bonus. Because we can get a KO here this turn. Uh, which is really good. Especially um, on this Empoleon. Oh, don't, don't, don't get a switch. Don't get a skateboard. Don't do it. Please, don't do it. It ain't going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. <laughs> it going to happen. <laughs> it done delete happen. Ah, <laughs> oh, yikes. All right, we still get the, the, the KO on this. So we, we uh, it's such a tough matchup, man. But they're still not one-shotting us. We still have this little Ace of Roller trick up our sleeve as well, which actually does kind of pay off. So maybe we do want to leave it in. Not 100% sure yet. All right, let's drop you down. Let's get rid of you. Because we don't really need you in this matchup. And you? But what if they play counter energy? That could be so busted. Okay, let's get rid of the energy. And let's get our bloodthirsty eyes out. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Uh, we're not going to use the ability because we want to take out the active. So that's good uh, for us. And considering we've got what we want pretty much here. Um, next time we have Guzma play as well, which is pretty dope. So we can take a quick prize. I mean, taking quick cheeky prizes is really going to help us in this matchup. Because if we just start hitting these Empoleons, they're just going to keep setting them up. So if we slow them down in the sense where we Guzma these bad boys like this Primplup, if they don't evolve it this turn, the Pitplup. If we start using Guzma and taking those small Pokemon out, um, then we really could slow them down. But then the issue is that they're just going to keep attacking with this thing, which is so bad. Um... Yeah, it's a bad, bad outcome, that. Are they going to go... Oh, I thought they were going to use Crash Awake there. No, they're using Ultra Ball. Um, oh, yeah. I don't think there's any slowing them down. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I think we're a bit too far into the game now to be able to, you know, slow them down. So, I think we just go for the good old... Whack-a-whack-a-whack. -whack -whack. <laughs> the Whack-a-mole. That's what I'm going to call it. The Whack-a-mole. 
Um, coin your phrases, Sean. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to ace and roller because uh, we don't want to die. Uh, is there anything we can do quickly whilst we can? I see crushing hammer would be so good right now. Just taking it out. We could be really cheeky and ace roller the benched one and just hope they don't have it. But that is so bad. I don't want to do that right now. We have to ace roller this thing, right? Just to just to stay in the game. I mean, we have to. All right. We're going to do it. Here we go. There we are. Ah, you come. There we are. They're still two shooting us, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, they're still two shooting regardless, so we can drop that down. That's fine. Oh, we can bloodthirst the ice as well. I completely forgot. We can, but we want to get this Empoleon. Uh, we're not KOing it, unfortunately, but we are heading into it nonetheless, so. All right, 120. There we go. That's making me want to throw a Kukui in this deck now, though. But that's such a, a niche scenario, this. So, it's not every day you come up against Empoleon, right? <laughs> um... So maybe not, but Kukui Diancy would allow this Accelerot to hit 160, which is quite a relevant number when it comes to the non-GX Stage 2 Pokemon, but that's quite a niche, if I'm going to be honest. So I don't think it's that much of an issue. It just would work here. I think the Ace Roller really paid off there, um, so I'm happy with that. But we have slowed ourselves down a little bit. We just need to pull some draw, man. Where's the draw? We even play Pal Pad in here just to really reuse our support cards. I just boost our draw, but it's just it's just not happening. <laughs> it's just not happening right now, which is a bit of a shame. We're getting all the irrelevant cards, like the enhanced hammers and the choice bands. They're really... There is not one card in our hand except these Guzmans that are really worthwhile. So... With that said... Let's see what we pull. A switch. <laughs> Typical. Typical! Okay. Um... We might as well attach these choice bands. Get them out of our hand. We could... See, this would be a sick multi-switch turn again, where we're just not getting the cards at the right time, I'm afraid. But it would be really good to DCE, Lycanroc, this Lycanroc, switch, bang, multi-switch, and then just attack again with a fresh Pokemon. And that's not going to get KO'd. But maybe we can do that in the later part of the game if we find our way to it. Yikes. See, the thing is, this is going to work really well for them, because... They're going to probably have double Jirachi if they've got another switch, which they probably do. Which means they're probably going to get an Aqua Patch or two. Um, and be able to attack next turn. So, they've got what they want. Okay, we are going to attach and evolve just to stay ahead of, ahead of the game. Hopefully, they don't, they don't just drop an Enhanced Hammer, which they might. I've seen this deck play it before. Um, let's take a look at our deck. We can get another Rockcroft out. But we don't need to. A Ranguru would really be helpful. That Lele would even be helpful. Man, there's the multi switches. We're just drawing the wrong cards at the wrong time, I'm afraid. That's just what's going on. All right, let's take this out. There we go. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. There's the power pad. We can uh, actually recycle Ace Roller, which could be really good, actually, um, if we. Keep ahead of things. If they whiff this turn, it would be a pretty good idea to bring Acerola back in. If they whiff this turn, not if we whiff. We don't want to whiff! Why don't we want to whiff? We don't want to whiff. So yeah, Stellar Wish, probably going to get some Aqua Patches out. I mean, they, they have two left, so... Unless they got an unlucky and prized one, the odds of them are getting it are quite high. Alright, so they've got Cynthia. So they are going to plan to attack the active, which is obvious. But they need an Aqua Patch to be able to attack this turn. So if they don't have it, they don't got it, man. Fingers crossed. Come on. Fingers crossed. Do not have the Aqua Patch. Come on. Don't, don't you don't got it. You don't got it. It ain't it ain't happening. That's a good sign. They're not playing it right away. That's a good sign. Oh! Oh no, they got the double Jirachi, haven't they? Don't get the Aqua Patch, please. Don't do it. Okay, okay. Hmm? Come on. Don't do this to me, man. Don't be like that. Don't do it. Mm, don't do it. Mm -mm -mm. We could be so good right now. So long as we draw like an energy or multi-switch. Because I'd love to goose with that thing up and just hit into it whilst we got the chance. Um, oh, they got that back in the deck. All right. Yeah, this is our opportunity. This is our, this is our one shot. <laughs> our opportunity. Oh, this is really, really it. 
Okay, what do we bring back? Guzma and Ace of Roller? I'm going to Ultra Ball. All right, so they got another Empoleon out. It's a bit of a shame, but it don't look like they got the Aqua Patch play, man. It's looking a bit doubtful, I'll be honest with you. Oh my god, they got it! Yeah! Okay, that is bad, though. Um, we could be super risky right now and hit into that Empoleon. But I think just taking the prize is what we want, you know? Uh, we can bench this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and that's 16. Choice band 190, unless they get a Kukui, which they did play, right? Have they played a Kukui yet? No, they haven't. So I don't think this player plays Kukui. All right, let's just power pad. I kind of want to draw out of this scenario. So, and I'm pretty confident this, this, this like was going to go down. So I don't think Ace Aroda is the play, but I think Guzma and Cynthia... No, Erica. Cynthia. I think so. I know Erica is better off, but we need to, like, get rid of this hand. <laughs> Did I bring Ace Aroda back stupidly? No, I didn't. Okay. So we can make a Guzma play. We can actually hit into the active Empoleon, but I want to take a prize right now. I want to be greedy because I need to be greedy. Otherwise, we're really going to struggle here. And we need to use our Guzmas really well as well in the future. So let's just attack. And we just have to Guzma to victory. And we can do that so long as they don't evolve this thing. So, because we have the Piplup and the Jirachi as our targets, effectively. But we do need the right stuff. Yeah, I knew they had it. So, I knew if I if I went to the Empoleon and attacked the Empoleon, we wouldn't have gotten the KO. And they would have just res responded with a KO. So, that's kind of paid off, which is good. So, if we draw an energy, that would be really good right now. That would be really helpful. We really need an energy. Because we can just Guzma attack KO, and then again Guzma attack KO, and that will be game. Mm, no energy. Yikes. Okay. We might have to slow it down for just one turn. <laughs> just get out of here, Ranguru. We need you, man. We need you. Okay, we have to Cynthia, man. We have to. I do not want to attack into the Empoleon this turn because we will lose. Ooh. No. This is bad. Just not having the energy. Oh, what is going on? What is going on, deck? What are you doing to me? Three energy out of 24. What are the odds of getting energy now? Oh, no. See, if we get an energy, we can just Guzma, Guzma game, you know? Because we only need to take one hit. So we have to lose this Rockruff. And hope they ain't got no Guzma play. Because they got a Guzma play then. We're screwed. Mm. Come on. Please. Believe in the heart of the gods. Please. Come on. <laughs> Don't do this. I just need it. Just need an energy, buddy. Just need an energy. That's all it is. That's all it is. But you know what? Just for a quick side for it's actually pretty awesome coming up against Napoleon. I ain't seen this deck in ages. So it's pretty fun. And it is a good deck. So maybe I could revisit it myself. What would you guys like? What would you, what would you guys think, should I say? Do you think I should revisit it? I'm not 100% sure, but it looks fun. I think I might. So, we'll have to see how that goes. It looks very functionable now. Although this guy is definitely struggling a bit. Please, please, please just hit me with it. Hit me with it. Hit me with the energy. Come on. Maybe I could have played the Nest Force to Thin, but that would have just increased the... Yes! Come on! Okay. All right. Stop getting excited, Sean. We're not there yet. We still need to pull a Guzma now. In that case, we pull a Lele. That'd be pretty dope, which is right there. So we have three outs to gain next turn, so long as they don't KO us, which they're probably not going to do. We're going to get... Did I misclick? Oh, oh, I thought I accidentally clicked the fucking in. I panicked so bad. Oh, my God. Knowing me, yeah, I panicked. <laughs> Come on. Just give me some sort of out here. Microphone, stay still. Thank you. Okay. Oh, we need a switch, though. Oh, no. Oh, near. Okay. 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 Oh, they're going to discard an energy of Whirlpool, aren't they? Yep. Oh, it's all falling apart! And we got the goose! No. Stop it. Stop it. What is this? What is this? What is this? Huh? What are these games? What are these sick games you're playing with me, man? That's it. It's game over. Oh, my God. So close to pulling it, man. Oh. 
28. There is no out to victory here. There is none. There's absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's game. Oh, so close. But yet so far. <laughs> oh, just getting the wrong microphone. Thank you. Getting the wrong cars at the wrong time just doesn't work out. To be fair, being a stage two, sorry, being a stage two, being a GX deck coming up against Empoleon, which is designed to one-hit KO GX decks, GX cards, sorry, um, them having the, the advantage of having a single prize attacking Pokemon. Do you know what? Pretty fair. I think they deserve the win, actually, to be honest. They, they kept their deck going. They really just kept things like, are you going to BM me for real, buddy? Come on, don't BM me. I'm complimenting you. Don't BM me, please. They're going to BM me, aren't they? Oh, there we go. Come on. Just get get it over with, buddy. Well played. Much love, man. Oh, you didn't send the message. All right. <laughs> with that said, uh, fair play to my opponent. He played very well. That deck seemed fun, and um, I did not look at the list because I'm an idiot. Um, but, you know, I'll probably build my own list on Empoleon and try out in the future. But first comes... Uh, so first things first, if I bring this microphone back up. Um, yeah, first things first, I'll be uploading that deck from uh, Sombra tomorrow. Um, and then Friday will be pack a match. And as I said, the, the, the schedule will change up. Um, but yeah, let me show you the list. Not that way. Let's do it the proper way. Of course, as always, it's in the description. And if you do want to recommend a deck list, of course, you can jump on my Discord. Um, it's a really nice place right now. There's a really uh, awesome community there. So if you want to jump in and join, you can. Um, there are some questionable cards I put in this deck that I think you guys might want to change. Um, maybe we don't have to do the double multi-switch, but I think it really works with keeping the flexibility of the deck alive. Um, Energy Lotto, I don't think you need three of them. I was really scared of not hitting the DCEs and really needing them at one point in time. But it seemed like we hit them pretty well. Um, so Energy Lotto, I guess you can either get rid of or reduce down to one. And maybe get a Viridian Forest or a Brooklet Hill in there. Um, Acerola, again, is a bit of a techie card. You can kind of replace it with something if you want. But I think it's cool. You saw it in use there. Um, where you can reuse Bloodthirsty Eyes, for example, or reuse the Twilight Eyes ability. I think it's a pretty cool thing. So I think you could play around with this list a bit more. I think I did go a bit too heavily in the Energy Lottos, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, this is the list. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. And I think it can challenge some top tier decks, so long as you play it um, the way it's intended to be played. Which, of course, is to slow your opponent down, um, to allow you to kind of keep up. And uh, for you to fully utilize both Bloodthirsty Eyes and Twilight Eyes um, effectively. But yeah, with that said, do leave a like if you did enjoy. And of course, do subscribe for more. But up until next time, please do take care and peace.